Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to talk about security intelligence to the full integration of Amazon Code Guru Security into GitLab. My name is Jeremy Wagner, and I'm a senior solutions architect here at GitLab. My role here is to help organizations like yours bridge the gap between our cutting edge DevSecOps platform and your business needs. I work to translate technical requirements into tangible business outcomes, helping customers unlock the transformative power of GitLab. I've spent the last decade in the software and DevOps space working with both fast-paced startups and compliance heavy enterprise organizations. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about the integration of Amazon CodeGuru Security into GitLab. Before we dive into Amazon CodeGuru Secure, let's talk a little bit about that problem. Every organization needs to deploy secure software faster. Let's look at some of those obstacles to that. Triaging security vulnerabilities can be a challenge, especially when you don't understand them, you may not be the original owner, or it may be three months later. Enforcing security standards becomes an obstacle when the plat uh, without slowing down developers, if maybe you're not using the same platform for security, um, things like that. Siloed planning and project management weakens collaborations across your project teams and your development. You end up with low quality code deployed to your production environment due to the lack of testing. And this all leads to a poor developer experience because they're constantly context switching, they don't have the proper documentation, um, and they end up very unhappy. Tell me if this story sounds familiar to anyone. Security is important to your organization. You have some security tools in place and SLAs to resolve those vulnerabilities, but the tools aren't well integrated into your developer workflow meaning it requires extra steps to actually find out what the security vulnerabilities are. When you're doing the code review, you're supposed to review the security vulnerabilities. But what ends up happening is you get so busy with all your other work that you end up only reviewing the vulnerabilities when you remember, which is every month or two, if we're being honest, or until the security team follows up with you. Does this sound familiar? This is where GitLab comes in. Let's talk about uh, some of GitLab security scanning capabilities. So let's dive into the overarching capabilities. GitLab has the ability for to provide vulnerability management, which allows you to view, triage, trend track, and resolve vulnerabilities, giving you full visibility to your organization's risk. We have dependency management, which allows you to track dependencies, versions, uh, and any vulnerabilities used in those projects. We have security and license approvals, which require approval from a security team when a merge request has newly detected vulnerabilities or licenses. And we have scan enforcements, which are, make, enable you to require scans to run as part of a pipeline or on a schedule. Now let's talk about some of these scans that happen before any build is necessary. So before you have to actually build your code, build your application, and you've committed code, we have several pre-built scans built into GitLab. So we have secret detection, which is going to check for credentials and secrets and code commits and project, and project history to proactively resolve prior and proper disclosure. We have static application testing, which is gonna scan your application code uh, and those binaries to check for weaknesses and vulnerabilities in there. We have infrastructure's code scanning. So scanning infrastructure styles, infrastructure files, such as your Terraform files, to check for insecure practices or things that might open up your cloud infrastructure to vulnerabilities. We have dependency scanning, which is gonna analyze those external dependencies, for example, libraries like RubyGems for any known vulnerabilities and license compliance. So while we're doing that dependency scanning, we're gonna search for any licenses used and we'll be able to approve or deny licenses based off of your policies. And finally, post-build. After your code is built, and your application is built, we offer some more tests. So we have container scanning, which is gonna look at your container images in the CICD pipeline for any security vulnerabilities. We have operational container scanning, which is gonna be able to enable you to analyze your container images use in, running, in a running Kubernetes cluster for security vulnerabilities. We have dynamic application security testing, which is going to analyze your running web application for known vulnerabilities leveraging the review app. We have fuzz testing, which is going to take that, we're going to provide input uh, that is unexpected and also provide malformed data into your application and then measure the response and the stability of your application to find unknown vulnerabilities. And last but not least, we provide API security. So we have testing that analyzes your APIs for both known and unknown runtime vulnerabilities. Um, let's talk about AWS Code Guru Security here a little bit, uh, just to level set there. So Amazon Code Guru Security is a static application security testing tool 
that uses machine learning to detect security vulnerabilities and policy violations in your code. CodeGuru Security can help you identify and fix security vulnerabilities early in the development lifecycle. It also provides suggestions for improving code quality and performance. CodeGuru Security integrates seamlessly with your existing development workflow, including your code repository, CICD pipeline, and container registry. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, integrating it into our current DevSecOps platform, which is GitLab. Before we dive into a demo, let's talk a little bit about what this uh, integrated workflow looks like. In typical GitLab flow, we'll open an issue and create a merge request to start working on your changes in a new feature branch. We'll commit early and often because we're good developers and we believe in true continuous integration. Every time we commit changes, our CI pipeline is going to run. GitLab's pre-built security scans that we talked about earlier are going to run, which means we're going to scan, run SAS, DAS scans, scan for vulnerabilities and our dependencies, scan for vulnerability in our containers, look for leaked secrets, and so on. This is where Amazon Code Guru security fits in. It's going to be another security scan that runs and scans for SAS vulnerabilities in our applications. Our pipeline then creates a temporary review app environment. Uh, this is where our security teams or our teams can collaborate, do our code review, do our testing. The results of these scans, including Amazon Code Guru SAS, are pulled into the merge request so they can be used as part of the code review. Our security policy as part of that merge request, checks the GitLab security scans and the Amazon Code Guru security scans and adds our security team to the merge request so they can approve if any vulnerabilities get merged in. This is a frictionless way to make sure our code stays secure and we follow our SLAs. After everyone has approved, we merge our code, close the issue, and deploy to production. We built secure code fast and collaborated with our security team all in one platform. Now that I've shown you this, let's go ahead and demo it. So during this demo, I'm going to um, open up a merge request. And I'm, from there, I'm going to show you the pipeline, what that looks like as a developer commits code. Then I'm going to show you the merge request and how those results are pulled into the code review, as well as show you the security policies and how those require the proper approvals uh, to make sure that the merge request is blocked, but the pipeline still finishes. Failing these builds uh, on security findings, or failing the build when we find security vulnerabilities is very disruptive to developer productivity. So using security policies in our merge request to require approvals is a much more frictionless way to ensure your code stays secure, but also still enabling you to get those security approvals as well. So let's dive in. I have switched over here to an open merge request where uh, you can see I have this add code, code review. So you can imagine that we have opened a ticket, created a merge request, committed some code, and you see that we have a pipeline that passed. I'm gonna go ahead and open this pipeline. And as it loads, you're going to see that we have several stages here with several jobs. Inside the test stage, we'll see, you'll see that we have several SAS jobs, several secret detection. Um, we have a dependency scanning job. So I want to call out that this first job here is Amazon Code Guru SAS. This is a job that was built as a collaboration between Amazon's engineers and GitLab's engineers as a way to integrate Amazon Code Guru into GitLab. The other scans here are built by GitLab or GitLab community members. So as you can see, Amazon Code Guru is treated as another scanner as part of the pipeline. The first place your developers will be able to get results is going to be in the security tab. So as I switch over here, you'll be able to see that uh, we have a table of vulnerabilities with severity. We have a description, any identifiers such as CVE, uh, as well as tool. So you can see here that these first few things all use Amazon Code Guru Security Scanner to find those vulnerabilities. If I go ahead and open this, you can see that it's going to give me a CWE, a description. Uh, it's going to tell me the project, the tool, what scanner was used, as well as any location, identifier, um, and a solution, right? So we're passing it and sanitize user data to Node VM. Um, that's going to help you resolve this. So again, this is the first place. Every time developers commit code, we're going to run these scans and give them security feedback right away. If I go back to the merge request, after doing our code review, we have a merge request widget here. This is going to pull the results from our changes into the code review. So we're looking at newly detected vulnerabilities and letting your know, you're letting your developers know what new security issues they've introduced. 
So if I open this and I, you can see that we have introduced six new potential SAS vulnerabilities, three critical and three high. If I actually go ahead and open one, you're gonna see a very similar view to what um, we saw in the pipeline with that CWE, the description, um, any identifiers. I can also click right into this and you can see that this goes straight to the file where we have a hard coded password, right? So as you're doing that code review, we're providing really easy to use evidence um, that's very seamlessly into the developer workflow and helping them know if there are any security vulnerabilities in their code. So our developers have committed code, the pipeline has ran, and then we are uh, provide, we have provided feedback in the pipeline for vulnerabilities. We have provided feedback in the merge request for vulnerabilities. And now let's take a scenario where we don't want any critical vulnerabilities in our application, right? We work in a high compliance uh, or we, we just really care about security. So you can see as I scroll down here that this merge request is blocked because all required approvals must be given. As I scroll up here, you'll see that we have requires one approval from zero criticals for SAST. Opens this and you can see that we, again, we have an approver with, with two, two people that need to come in and approve this with this approval rule. And this is gonna be called a scan result policy. This is a policy that essentially, as the name suggests, it applies an approval rule based off of the results of a scan. Um, let's go ahead and open our scan result policy and show you what this looks like. So I've opened my policies and I've got zero criticals for SAS here. If I go ahead and edit this policy, you're gonna see, get essentially an if then then that visual editor for, for a policy. So we've got a name, which is what you saw previously. If I scroll down here to rules, you'll see that when a SAS security scan finds a critical uh, vulnerability, then we're going to require an approval from an owner. In our case, we're using owner. In your case, you could have a you could have a security team. You could have a technical lead that comes in and approve it. You know, however you want to, um, or however your organization has decided the approvals they need, you can enable those and make sure they're coming in and approving vulnerabilities. You can get as granular as you want. In our case, we're using SAS because of the Code Guru security demo. Um, you could select any scanner, all scanners. Um, and really get the right approval as you need. So, so tying this back here, we've got when SAST finds critical vulnerabilities uh, or finds any critical vulnerability, then we're gonna require an approval from an owner. If I go back here to my merge request, you can see that uh, we have three critical SAS vulnerabilities. And so this merge request is blocked and we have an approval required from an owner of this project because with this name, zero criticals for SAST. So switching back here, as you just saw, running the scans as part of the CI pipeline can greatly increase the efficiency of both the development and security teams. By catching the results at the commit and earlier, we're able to give developers feedback in minutes and keep them focused on the task at hand. Tying this back to our project or to our, our story earlier about, about our team finding out vulnerabilities months later, right? This is gonna, when we find them in minutes instead of months, this is gonna dramatically reduce the cost of remediating a security vulnerability uh, while also keeping your code secure. So GitLab is the leading DevSecOps platform that empowers your teams to balance speed, security um, by automating software delivery and, se and securing your end-to-end -end software supply chain. By integrating Amazon CodeGuru security into GitLab, you're going to get improved security posture by adding additional scanners. You're going to get that improved code quality, again, by using their scanners. You're going to have one platform for security and compliance policies. You're going to have one set of reports for vulnerability management. That's going to enable organizational, organizational wide collaboration, reporting, analytics, and governance. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, for working code and step-by-step -step tutorials, you can go to this short URL on our screen. Again, my name is Jeremy Wagner, um, and thank you today for watching this video.